Hello everyone, welcome to a new series. New series on the channel. A little bit of a break from the RPG madness, but one that is still fun. I give to you Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Ooh, a bit loud. So, I'm going to actually turn down the audio in recording slightly while I talk. Sorry. So, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Uh, this will not be 100% 100% last fight. I have unlocked all the weapons and I will show you in adventure mode all the paths to take for each of them. And I will be showing every character and their playstyle and also putting my opinion on how I feel about them. No, I will not be showing you how to beat them all because this was not fun. This was not fun to do. But yes, every episode will have a showcase of two characters some of the episodes will have the first, the early, the earlier episodes will show one of the maps that will be the showcase of a character. More to show, this is the, these are the squares I completed and have access to. You know, you can probably guess roughly where I had to do to quickly get these weapons. So, let's first talk about the worst character who isn't even the plot. Tangle. High level means I either really like them or really hate them. This is a hate. I'll talk about my fairy later. Oh, it's this map. Okay, nope. Not doing this one. This one will take too long. There we go. Defeat 300. Uh, I'll just have Girahim running around. So, let's talk Tingle. Worst character in the game, not fun to play in my opinion. You'll see him KOing things quickly, this is because of his level. Nothing really ends up having that being that effective. He's maybe be a weird crowd clearer, but the problem is he just sucks. Like, really sucks. I can't even get any combos that feel satisfying. Oh my god. Oh my god. And, and this map was mainly chosen because it allows me to grind up magic, but I was expecting, yeah, I was expecting to do that. There we go. This is his gauge breaking potential. It sucks. So he doesn't even have that going for him either, which is something that you, you better have it if you're not good at crowd clearing or dueling. Even... This is not satisfying. This is just... Too strange. Uh, 
At least we can use the spirit, which I'll talk about that once we get into actual good gameplay. The spirit attack also kind of sucks, because it's just... It's this! It's like, how am I meant to feel like this is satisfying? A very strange choice to have Tingle. It does not help, but he is panting, I'm guessing, as he's coming over. Because this is actually really annoying to hear. Oh, yeah, his regular break guard. Not satisfying either. It's even stranger since he's meant to be, he's clearly meant to be a joke character. But I find joke characters are only funny, fun, when they're case of, okay, this could be lethal eventually. And not in terms of, oh, high level. A case of, oh, you can do sun crits? That's a maze. Amazing. If I have to suffer for this, you guys are having to suffer for this. Thankfully, we won't be playing as Tingle, and I don't have to play Tingle ever again. Be able to quit. Because we're not here for this. We're here for legend mode. So, uh, first of all, yes, I'm going to be playing on hero. Second, uh, we're going to do this, excuse me, chronologically. So, this is actually the first in the path. We'll be playing as Sia, and. Ooh. Yeah, no, I want the Crackling Scepter, so uh, give me a moment. No badge. <laughs> crackling Scepter. Mainly because the second element is going to be kind of useful. Okay, so if we've got all those, we can just use away. There we go. We'll use that weapon. It'll be perfect. No more. And before people ask, I really will talk about these. This is more in depth. I don't want to go super in depth for the first episode. I want to just get the rough out of the way. The goodness driven from her heart, Sia opened the gate of souls, summoning vast hordes of monsters to Hyrule. Ganondorf's spirit counseled that her attack must be swift and devastating if she was to be victorious. However, controlling an army would require a commander, and Sia realized she would need a powerful warrior to serve as her general. The perfect candidate came readily to mind, the Dragon Knight of the Elden Caves. If he could be made to serve, such a creature would easily be able to command her minions' obedience. Sia wasted no time. She immediately set off for the Elden Caves in search of her new champion. Yeah. If I had done this much earlier, before people started readily knowing 
was a big thing about Seer, which I'll pretend that it isn't going to be very obvious. Uh, I would probably not... I probably would have done the main story on its own, in its own, then come back. But it's not. It's very readily apparent and known. So, yeah. Let's roll! Elden Caves. The Dragon Knight should be in this cave. I'll have to convince him to join me. Wait, there's something else? You too. People, we can't. We sealed the ring away. We'll never find it. Oh, we suddenly got much more interesting. So, see ya. Gotta be honest, I kinda like her. Her playstyle is all about crowd, crowd control, which is actually the reason why I chose Tingle. Well, first, because this is a good showing of how good crowd control is, if you can control the area very quickly. She isn't the best at this, but honestly, you don't need to be the best to be so satisfied. Especially if we can just tornado your foes. So satisfying. I'm sorry. I love how satisfying it is. Yeah, playing on Hero is going to make this much harder, but honestly, I'm fine with that. I already know what I have to do. Summon Darklings. This is probably going to be we're going to be using the most though. Huh? The way is open, I wonder. Also, dynamic music, which is also really cool. We want as many forces as we can for two reasons. One, we'll see immediately because it just ends up helping us in our task. <laughs> ah, feel it. The ring is here. Come out now, darling. A 
not much better. But who are you and what do you want me? <laughs> I'm looking for a general for mommy. You might be the monster for the job. Thank you. I look forward to proving you right. A bit too forward. Don't let Wizro or the ally base fall. Plantless dragon lives in these caves, but he's on the other side of the gate. He'll ha! I'll burn down, blast apart, shot anything that gets in your way, mistress. <laughs> you must be Volga. Come with me and rampage to your heart's content. No, leave. I was running over to my base. Brave, I won't do. I still got to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Leave me be. I have no interest in humans in their wars. You don't fool me. You're a warrior. The only thing that interests you is war. Salt Master of Olga. We kill him for her for you, Master. Good, but don't answer her. She smells. She has a smell of power. And we won't rush back. And I didn't catch that. Little monsters, no match for us. We crushed them all. Grab talk to the losers. Looks like I'll intervene to keep my army. Looks like we use a boost. I'll just fill the gaps with more war. Not bad, Ring. Mm, this one's very interested in proving his loyalty. Too interested. Perhaps too interested. Oh, and here comes the big. want to instead attack these bomb tubes. Find the summoner for now. There we go. I'm fighting Gorons. Watch for giant ruins. Your baits will thank you for it. Stop the bomb tube from destroying the keep. We did that. And now we move to this one. That other one won't do anything. Which is why I saved two uses. Let's get some free damage. Even if this keep is not down. Oh, perfect. We found the wing, which is ring creature. Two new touch master. Get for being distracted. 
You were distracted. Anyways, spirit. Speed up. Powerful attacks. Oh, there's one more we didn't get. I mean, we could technically allow it to get through. Thankfully, oh really? Okay, how bad are you? I should be fine for a bit longer. Hmm. You greatly disappoint me, servant. There we go. Coming. How many of them are there? Okay. Thankfully, we're not here for ranks, so I can take as much health as I need. Fit the herd. God, not seeing. Nope. Okay, first of all, drink up. Oh, shut up, Wizard. Our base needs more. Help. How many of them get in here? <sighs> I figured you were going to need help again because you're just attacking. Yeah, we just need to slowly come on
Slow. Dream Spear. Use invincibility. Okay, now they've got this area, this should be secure for at least a while. Now the big thing is keeping the Gorons out. Because god damn it. They're becoming a nuisance. I was gonna pause, but then I was like, wait, there's a mini map. I might want to check the enemies and the allies' health. Just so I can get all my units. Really? You're an idiot. At least he's doing something. No. Which is annoying, but hey. Oh, really? Didn't even tell me if I was like a healy, heal, healy, healing. No, not really. Nice ring. See ya. This I've done it in this level, so. I know it's possible. I mean, it could just keep start from the last checkpoint, but just so okay. What's the last checkpoint? Why can't I get to the top one though, either? Uh, I'll see what 
Oh, yeah, no. That's... Okay, I'm... I'll probably end up having to... Giving her experience boost if I want to get through it quickly again. I will be trying to do all of them on a hero, but because of how, because of how the series is, uh, I'll, if I fail once and I get quite far in, I will drop it to normal. The goodness driven from her heart. Sia open the gate of so uh, yeah, I guess you guys will be seeing my fail attempt. But hey, because it's on e because it's on normal, you guys are gonna be seeing me cutting through these quite quickly. In fact, you probably won't be seeing me stomping much. You'll be seeing our forces also doing much better. Yeah, before you ask, no, you can't just come in here, you've got to wait until they pop up again. <laughs> Normally, I would just continue on, but... If there's any commander, they're pretty much going to cause even a little bit of a problem. Okay, yeah, no, there's no more. Also, just realized I haven't even talked about the buttons. Uh, B to dodge, but also I also use it to dash. Y is to attack. X is to use a well, what's affectionately going to be going to be called every attack. A to use a special. Also, the buttons on the screen you can tell what they do. The bottom bar is our experience, our hearts, our health. The bar, but sometimes appears if when we're in a keep is the keep's health. over here
This is the lowest I've gotten, Volga. And we just fight where we cause a break in the ranks. We just give ourselves the breathing room we need and then we just go back. And of course if we can, we will try and take out the chieftains. That's one. Like I said, this is much easier. One bomb choose down. And the hold. All the bombs should exploded. Now let's take back. Keeps. So no more Gorons at the door. Yeah, get rid of the Gorons, that means we don't have to worry about pincer attacks anymore. We're just going to break through. Breakthrough. Right over here. Break. We're just making our moves forward.
finally, the last key. some power, but I still have no interest in your war. Still, I'll just make you, make you serve for me. So sorry, master. Wishing dragon kind. We must call the great beast. This, this is one of only King Dodongo entrances that I will not skip. Which was betrayed you? Oh my god. Come on. Get over here, you stupid beast. And just knocking about Wizro. Oh, giant laser. Take him down. Now we've got King Dodongo to deal with. Come on, come on. Stop! There we go. One King to Donker down? No. Let's give him. Let's show him our own boost. Blast. At least I've learned something. Independent thought is severely overrated in the wings. I swear, eternal loyalty to see you all. 
My, what we desire is to fight worthy foes. Huh? Excellent. Now that that's done, let's talk about laying siege to Hyrule Castle. And with that, that will be the first episode. Next time, well, we're gonna lay siege to Hyrule Castle. Honestly, we're gonna be playing as probably my second least favorite character, Wizro. And in that episode, I will also talk about my fairy. So I'll see you guys then. Xenosima, signing out.